Have you ever had difficulty keeping your sprayer boom in control? If the answer is yes, always, or usually, the new Ag Shield ground following system is for you. In the spray business, you're out there to kill weeds. Many folks know that shields can extend your spraying hours, as well as ensuring that the target gets properly coated. Spray shields work in a stiff breeze if they're run at the right height, but operators can have problems keeping the shields at the correct height on uneven ground. Aside from the wind, nozzle height is the most critical factor in proper pesticide application. In rolling ground, manual control of boom tip height is a full-time job. Until now, if you've been running a floating boom sprayer on rolling ground, you've had three choices. One, you could run the boom tips four or five feet in the air and hope the poor spray distribution will still kill most of the weeds. Two, you could develop magic fingers that keep both booms somewhere close to the proper height some of the time. Or three, you could spend big bucks on a computerized tip height controller that's great when it's set up properly and working. Now there's a better way. Ag Shield has patents pending on a new hydromechanical ground following system that keeps the boom at the right height with the gauge wheel that just feels the ground and adjusts the boom tip to follow ground contours automatically. As you drive across the field, a rise or drop in the ground level will change the pressure in the shoulder cylinder. This change is sensed by the GFS valves and oil is sent to the shoulder cylinder to raise or lower the boom tip as required. There are no mechanical or electrical devices mounted on the boom wings to cause problems. The sensing function has no direct connection to the controls. The GFS has no long wiring harness to get damaged by field obstacles. It's just a simple, reliable system that goes to the field and works. It works so well that the driver can be relaxed and still do a great job. Instead of looking over both shoulders at once and doing the magic fingers thing, you just watch where you're going. The GFS looks after your boom height, so you can use your GPS to get exact coverage. Operators who have used the system love it. The reports coming in say no more hand or arm cramps. Drivers can put in some extra hours and still be fresh at the end of the day. Even operators with less training can do a better job. With the labor shortages in the ag business, the ground following system can really give you an edge without misapplication problems. In combination with Ag Shields patented shields, spraying becomes a reasonable job. Start at 6 a.m. after the dew is drying off instead of at 4 a.m. when the dew severely dilutes the chemical. Shields let you spray comfortably all day, most days. Operators can go home at a reasonable hour and you'll find that the rigs with shields will cover a lot more acres than those trying to run open booms, even if you're using drift reducing or air induction type nozzles. How many times have you found yourself running across the field with the booms well above proper height for best weed control? After having the tips digging in half the day, we tend just to raise the boom tips a bit to make the job bearable. Unfortunately, with tough to control weeds, this reduced coverage can lead to escapes and resprays. GFS keeps the nozzles at the right distance to cover the target thoroughly, even in the roughest ground. You'll be amazed at the difference in weed control. Installing the GFS is a breeze. Installation on an Ag Shield boom usually takes less than four hours with simple hand tools. The adjustable GFS gauge wheel is bolted on just inside the tip breakaway. If you're working in tall crop, simply slip the wheels out of the brackets and use the machine without activating the GFS. The small in cab control box has one switch and four indicator lights to monitor system operation. The cable runs from the cab to the center of the boom. If you're installing on an SP sprayer, the AgShield GFS harness plugs directly into the factory sprayer harness. Most tractor units can be fitted. Both open and closed center hydraulic systems can be accommodated without power loss or heat buildup. When you get to the field, just open the boom and lower the center section to operating height. When the booms are opened out, flip the GFS on find your mark and start driving. If there are no obstacles in the field, you won't have to look at your tip height until you change fields. Of course, not all fields are perfect. Stone piles, fence rows and runways exist. If one of these gets in your way, just operate the regular boom switch to raise the side that's needed and the GFS mode is disengaged. The boom lifts normally. 
Either one or both sides can be operated simultaneously. Drive on until you clear the obstacle and then just tap the boom switch down. This re-engages the GFS and the boom will float down to the correct operating height. Just keep your eye on the mark and drive, even in sharp hills. Think of the freedom. One of our early customers bought a 60-90 foot boom because his current 60 foot unit was too hard to operate in his rougher fields and he didn't really believe our salesman. After 15 minutes in his worst field, he felt there was no need to calibrate for 60 feet. The boom with GFS was doing better at 90 feet at the same speeds than his previous 60 foot boom on the same machine in the same field. Translate that number to your bottom line. 60 to 90 foot is a 50 percent increase in acres per hour. Even at 9 miles per hour, the 33 acre increase from 65 to 98 acres per hour earns $4 per acre for a $132 increase per hour. The other way to look at this is a one-third reduction in cost per acre. You could pay for a complete new 90-foot boom system with GFS in less than 200 hours. After that, it's all in your pocket. Of course, higher speeds and larger booms can reduce hours dramatically. In areas where 80 or 90-foot booms are common, folks are thinking to 100 to 120 feet and still having nozzles at the correct height to kill weeds. Wider booms also mean a lot less tracks. A 50% reduction in sprayer tracks in a small grain crop can easily put $1.50 to $5 per acre on the bottom line and leave a lot less wheel track damage to fight at harvest. GFS makes your life easier in other ways as well. Minimize problems with carpal tunnel syndrome and workers comp. I bet you thought that carpal tunnel only happens to computer jocks. Think again. Several operators we've talked to need a surgeon to correct the problem after running high clearance rigs and rolling ground for several years. If this isn't you, you can still be relaxed driving a sprayer with a GFS system. In rougher conditions, booms can take a real beating. One operator said that he keeps spare tip sections for his original booms in stock. A pricey insurance policy that is eliminated with the Ag Shield ground following system. Boom maintenance decreases substantially if you keep them out of the dirt. The ground following system does this and still keeps the nozzles at the right height to kill weeds. Streamline your spraying operation. Cover more acres, kill more weeds, and be relaxed doing it. Contact AgShield today. We'll get one of our ground following systems working for you.